How does the new pinless suited body compare to the countless others? How is it proportionally to the Daredevil figure? What about the head swap? I'll answer all those questions and more in this week's review of Marvel Legends Spider-Man No Way Home, Matt Murdock. Growing up in Hell's Kitchen, things were pretty rough. But things only got worse when the 9 year old Matt Murdock was in an accident. A chemical spill caused him to go blind, but also heightened his other senses, giving him super hearing. Shortly after, he became an orphan. You don't break me, or my wife, or my... Shut up! All grown up, Matt listens to people's heartbeats to tell when someone is lying. A useful skill for a defense attorney who represents the innocent and guilty alike. All right, all right, I did some money laundering for your standard ex-military psychotypes. Give me a name. What, are your parents supposed to do that? Articulation, bruh. With nothing impeding articulation, Matt's head can look all the way down. And yes, that face is a little shiny. All the way up, there's a little bit of left to right and a tiny bit of head tilt, but not really much. There's an ab crunch that allows him to crunch that much forward. The coat does get in the way, so not as much back. A nice waist swivel cut right above the belt there. The jacket isn't impeded at all, so there's still a full rotation, a bicep swivel. There's also a pinless double jointed elbow, gets you that much bend. Arms ball and hinge all the way up and then some. Hands rotate and hinge down just a little bit and up just a little bit as well. I think the hands are recessed into the sleeve a little bit too much. That's what's going on there. Legs kick up good enough for a civilian, but not good enough for a daredevil. Out a good amount. Upper thigh swivel. There's a pinless double jointed knee that's just okay. There's a nicely hidden boot swivel, well I guess a, a shoe swivel. Feet hinge down all the way if you can just sort of hinge it over top of that bottom pant leg there. Doesn't hinge up a lot, if any at all. And ankles that rock like blind belief. I wonder what's the forces with me. I wonder what's the forces with me. Accessories! Does this purse go with my bra bra? Matt comes with a brick from that scene in the movie where the Mysterio supporter throws it through the window. The details on this little accessory is impressive. The best painted item in the package, potentially even the whole wave. It does come off a little bit small, but I think it's because it was made to fit the hand and not the other way around. So while it is not the most secure grip, it will hold up long enough for you to get that shot. The second scene specific accessory we get is Matt's walking cane. Now you can't get Matt looking like he's walking around, you know, feeling out the place, but that's due to the incorrect hinge on the gripping hand. I still had fun posing him around with the members of the tracksuit mafia, but Matt is limited to how he can use the cane. The strap at the end never looks natural, being fixed in an upright position, but the cane is painted well enough. Ah, go sit yourself. Whether it's in a courtroom or the edge of a building, Matt Murdock can go sit himself. First up we've got Daredevil from his Netflix appearance. He's also holding some boxing gloves there from Super Action Stuff. And then we've got Luke Cage ripping part an Ultron. Not sure why. He wasn't on Sokovia. There's no particular reason, it just looks cool. And around at the cast, because we're ignoring Iron Fist ever existed, here's Jessica Jones. And next up is the Electric Electra. More like Beauty and the Sexy Beast, am I right, fellas? Here's She-Hulk. Just turning cough, Mr. Murdoch. <clears throat> here's Claire Temple. And next up, we have the oh-so-precious Alicia's Claw. Can't imagine anyone else playing Professor X. Here's Charles Xavier. An apple a day keeps you from staining your underpants. Here's Ironmonger, Obadiah Stane. Think on sexy thoughts. Think on sexy thoughts. The likeness to Charlie Cox is great from every angle but straight on. The 5 o'clock shadow is actually nicely printed on, but the face is unnecessarily shiny. 
Head sculpt aside, I'm happy to have this updated suited body in the collection. Get you, you beautiful bastard, you suited up! This is totally going in my blog! Big ups to Hasbro for fixing the ankles and adding pinless joints. The old suited body fell over if you even yawned in its general direction. Oh, let me help you up, you poor baby. He won't bother you anymore. And before we get out of here, let's see how the other unmasked head sculpts from this wave fit on the suited body. I hope the Daredevil that's surely to be released with the upcoming Disney Plus show will be closer to scale. The demand for Matt Murdock may not be overly high right now, but trust me, it will. As long as they don't re-release this in a different colored suit, I think people will be looking to backtrack to pick this one up. You didn't happen to see anything at all. Make sure to like and subscribe and turn on notifications to stay up to date with Yabra. And remember, collect responsibly.